You may remember last month that I reviewed the demo for Flutter Away, and I've been counting down the days until release of the full version since. Well, it's finally out, and this morning I gave it a try, and I couldn't wait to share my thoughts with you. Flutter Away is a peaceful, cozy idol game where you are camping alone in the Amazon rainforest. You're exploring during the days and taking photos of butterflies, flora, and other cute creatures that you see. Each day, you have a list in your journal of things to complete, like discover discoveries, exploring new areas, plus always new butterflies and moths to encounter, and there are also hidden bonus things to find. Like I found some of them with specific flowers or frogs or different creatures, and the game doesn't tell you, but it is fun finding these for sure. Now, Flutter Away is an intentionally short game. It takes place over just five days, but it does have replayability, especially if you'd love to try and complete and find everything in a game. It took me a little over an hour to play through those five days and during that hour I managed to get 81% of the discoverable items and five of the 10 achievements so I'll definitely be playing again to find them all. I think Flutter Away is great for mindfulness too. In particular this morning I was feeling a little stressed and after playing the game I felt so much more relaxed and centered. I think it just is a way to kind of focus on something and it's quite immersive and it just yeah brought my thoughts together if that makes sense. On the first day of Flutter Away you have to set up your campsite and then you wander around your first area. It's a good mini tutorial to get to understand the controls and you also find out that there is a capybara in the game. Yay! <laughs> I love capybara! When you find a new butterfly you take a photo of it for your journal and then you try and get the butterfly to land on a stick that you carry around so that you can have a look at all of its details up close. I loved doing this because it just shows how in detail they've made these butterflies. They look so good. I played on PC with a mouse and keyboard and I found the controls pretty intuitive. There were a few times that I struggled at first with moving leaves on the plants or moving the large branches that are blocking the paths, but most of that actually came down to user error and it did get easier as I got further into the game. One thing I found so hard to do though was to put the lamp on the tree branch. I found it ridiculously hard to get the angle right and so many times I thought I had the angle but then I would drop it again and it would just fall to the ground. I got there eventually and the thing is somehow the next time I got it right the first time. I don't know what I did differently but apparently the something was different. Flutter Away has controller support and I do usually prefer to play games with a controller if I can so I tried playing with my Xbox controller for a few minutes and the controls are pretty good and intuitive with the controller too. There is one thing to note though with the different controls. When I was playing with mouse and keyboard I had to turn the camera sensitivity down quite a bit as otherwise the camera was super sensitive and moving around too quickly. But then with the controller I had to put it back up to max again. So do keep this in mind if you're considering switching between the two because it did make a huge difference depending on whether I was using the mouse and keyboard or the controller. The game itself ran really smoothly on my PC and I imagine it runs well on Nintendo Switch as well. There weren't any bugs or glitches except for one butterfly that got stuck in place for a while and I had to eventually rescue it when the game would let me. It's so refreshing to find a game that runs without any issues on release as it seems to be becoming less and less normal nowadays. One of my favourite things to do in Flutter Away is just to stop and look around with the camera taking in the views. The scenery in this game is so stunning and relaxing, both at day and night, and with the super peaceful music and the sounds of the birds, it makes for such a nice immersive experience. I do recommend, as the game suggests, playing with headphones. Barbara the Capybara, or Capybara as it's also known, is such a cute addition to the game. You slowly gain her trust and can eventually pet her too. And a spoiler alert, she has little babies. All three of the Capybaras are so adorable and I could have sat there for hours petting them and listening to their little purrs. Something I really appreciated with this game is how helpful it is with the prompts. I have seen a few comments online from people who mentioned they felt like it was holding their hand a little too much at times, but I personally found the balance to be about right for me. I had a few moments where I got stuck and I couldn't find what to do next, and it was nice to have things like the checklist to help figure things out. 
Flutter Away is available on both Steam for PC and Mac and also on Nintendo Switch and the full price for it is $20 in New Zealand and $12.99 in the US. It's 15% off at the moment though both on PC and on Switch and that sale ends on the 24th of August so now is a good time to get it if you are interested. I do think the game is priced well if you see it as a game that you're going to play more than once. It is a short game but I do think I'll be getting my money's worth with repeated plays. And I think this is where my recommendation sits for the game. I do recommend Flutter Away, but only if you're planning on playing it more than once or if you're okay with shorter games. And as I mentioned earlier, it will take a little while for me to complete everything in the game, even if it did only take me an hour to play it through the first time. I'll be definitely using it for mindfulness practices in the future too, as even though it's been 90 minutes since I finished playing, I'm still feeling that relaxed feeling from the game. Thank you so much for watching, do like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet, and if you are still watching, let me know in the comments what you would call Barbara the Capybara's babies. They're so cute so I think we totally have to make up names for them. I don't know what I would call them, maybe Brie and Camembert, I love cheese and those two are great. <laughs> Stay fresh cheese bags, bye!